Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's the one and only your boy, Hancho J23, and you are now tuned in to the latest, hottest, most episodic show on all social media platforms. That is Independent Scene, the podcast. I want to take this opportunity right now to thank you guys for joining me on tonight. It's going to be a dope, dope show. I definitely can't wait for you guys to tune in and catch these gems, catch this advice, catch these tips, because it's definitely going to be amazing. I want to say, I want to say hello to all of my guests tapping in tonight. I want to say shout out to Chico World, shout out to Deja Monet, shout out to Liquid 36, shout out to One Just Chris. What's good to all of y'all? What's good, Hood Bingo, which is my guest on tonight's edition, of spe- uh, which is my guest on the special edition of Independent Scene, the podcast. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please clap it up and allow me to introduce my guest at this time on Independent Scene, the podcast. This is probably his first time being on the show, and I definitely can't wait to chop it up with him. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Hood Bingo. Let's get it. Good morning, everybody. What's going on? What's going on? Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. What's good, Deja? What up? What up? What up, sis? How you feeling? What up? What's good, my brother? What's going on with you, man? What's going on? Cooling, man. Cooling, man. How about you? Yeah, man. Chilling, man. I, I feel that. Yeah, for the night, man. Most definitely. Most definitely. Hey, I'm, first of all, real quick, before we get started, I'm, I'm fucking with the blue light, man. I'm fucking with that. <laughs> man, that ain't nothing but a PFO screen. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> But first of all, like I said, I want to welcome you to the platform, man. Definitely, it's an honor and a pleasure to chop it up with you, man. I've heard so much about you, so I definitely can't wait to get into it with you. But real quick, introduce yeah. yourself to people, let the people know who you are, and then we're going to jump right into it. Yo, my name is Hood Bingo. I'm a local rapper in LaGrange, Georgia. Doing the interview today with my boy, Hancho J. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm linked in with Liquid. We up, man. Yes, sir. And, and with that, like I said, we're just going to jump right into it, man. So real quick, man, how did you get into the music and where did it start for you? I really got into I really got into music like 28, in 2018 going to 2019. Okay. I don't know. It just, it just hit. I mean, music really comes from like depression and stuff, man. You know, getting up, doing a little something, something. Okay. That shit express how you feel. You feel me? Most definitely, most definitely. Okay, so let me ask you this. So when it comes to the music that you make, man, what makes your music so different? Like, what makes your music stand out from all the other music that you're hearing out here on, to, on the radios, you know, on, on, on the music platforms? Like, what makes your music so different? My music? Really, my music? Oh, I mean, really? I just got a different flow than other people, a different style. Okay. Like that's a lot of people in the grand can't that can't meet my style. Okay, okay, okay. So with that being said, so with the with the songs that you make and the and the and the lyrics that you put behind it, like what is your message behind those songs, those messages? What are those messages that people are able to grasp and grab onto and be able to you know keep grinding, man? Grind, grind, it pays off. Okay, keep okay. grinding, man. Grind, it pays off, for real. I'm definitely digging that. I'm definitely digging that. As long that. as you got that hustle, man, you're going to be straight. You're going to okay. make it. Okay. I feel that. I feel that. So real quick, what's, what's been... So tell us real quick, real quickly, you know, when you, with your songs that you make, you know what I'm saying? What is it about your songs specifically for you that you've made that you sat back and just, and just thought like, yo, like, I really made this. Like, this is really me. Like, what are those songs that really made you think like, yo, like, I really did this? My song, Fly Away and Hill. I got flower in here. No, I ain't know I could really like to talk about some, some, I ain't talked about subjects, but I really, I really matched it. You feel me? So I matched my, I matched my voice with the, with the past. Okay. The click. Okay. Now, when you say, you know, you never thought that, you know, you could, you know, go that deep into, you know, topics that you talk about, you know, was that yeah. one of the was that was that was that a hard thing for you, or you, like or like you said, you were just able to just to flow with the flow? I mean, I flow with the flow, man. Okay. If it was there, I would there. You feel me? Right, right, right. I feel that. I feel that. If it wasn't there, I ain't got no being to be in there. <laughs> that, that part, I definitely feel that. Okay, so let me ask you this, man. With everything that's going on all around the world, you know, we've been dealing with this this COVID, this pandemic situation. You know, we've been dealing with the whole, you know, police brutality, racial injustice, all that, all those different things. How have you been dealing with all of this? And how have you been, you know, continuing to press forward through all of this that's been going on all around the world? All I got to tell them, keep their head up, man. Keep your head up. 
Okay. Now let me ask you this. So again, speaking on the topic of your music, you know, again, with everything that's been transpiring, have you as an artist decided to put what's going on into your music so that people can be able to understand and relate to what's going on from your point of view? So, 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 no, no, I say fly away, come in because we talk about like, like when my auntie died and my uncle died and then my grandma and, and the best friend I had. Okay. They talk about four dead people. They sound really myth though, my, my dead people. You feel me? Okay. okay. I so feel like, it. I so I really had this. I was like, I'm a, I want to put this on the track, and I did it. Okay. Okay. It sounded good. good. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. So now let me ask you this. When it comes to cities and places that you've been to perform, what's been the most, what's been that, what's been that one city that you've went to that you're, that you're like, yo, like, this is the spot. Like, this is truly like a vibe. Like, I can get, you know, I can really, you know. Hey, that A straight, man. That A straight. Okay. Okay. Shout out to the A. Don't you speak down on that A. That A straight, bro. I ain't gonna They get lit in the A. Most definitely. So speaking on the topic of Atlanta, man, um, you know, there has been so many things that have been said about Atlanta, man. But I want to know from you, you know, you being in that area, man, is it everything that people say Atlanta is or am, or am I or are we all just. Hey, where well, I'm from, they fought with Atlanta strong. They okay. fought with Atlanta. OK, yeah. OK. Now, let me now let's now I want to down here. We plugged in with Atlanta. Most definitely, most definitely. Okay. Now let me ask you this. When it comes to, you know, venues and, 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 and performances, man, me mentally, before you get prepared for a show, man, or do any show, man, how do you mentally appear, get prepared to go out there and deliver like you do? Mm. Listen, listen to the music for a little minute. Okay. Get your little, little buzz in, you feel me? Okay. After that little buzz, just be straight. Okay. I mean, okay. that idea with me. Okay. Okay. Now let me ask you this: When it comes to the stu when it comes to studio time, how op how often or how long are you usually in studio when you know you're creating these these masterpieces uh, as I like to call now, them? Nah, I, I I love going to the studio, but recently I ain't been in studio because I've been doing a lot of been trying to do a lot of figure a lot of things out from a music career. Okay. Trying to get a lot of things straight, but I'm finna I'm finna be back in the heavy though. Okay. Real okay. heavy. Most definitely, most definitely. All right, so look, let me ask you this. Now, switching gears, man, you know, we've been having a lot, and I do mean a lot of versus battles, you know, going down, you know, produced by Timbaland and Swiss Beats. Now, I'm sure you've seen a couple of them. But what I want to know from you, as once again, as an artist, man, what's been that most lit that most lit battle for you that you've seen that you're like, yo, like, this this battle was 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 bound to happen. Like, this is something that I've been waiting on. I ain't, I ain't really had that battle, dude. You said you ain't. You said I ain't, you ain't. I ain't really had it yet. Okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this. Well, let me let me flip it a little bit. Is there anybody out here, entertainment wise, that you that, that you know that you heavily fuck with that you would be like, yo, I would love to see them go one on one against each other. Uh, I mean, is it rapper wise? I mean, it could be rapper, singer. I mean, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? It comes and go. You know what I mean? I want to do comedy. I want to see. I want to see that by. Um, I don't know. There's so many people to choose from. I. I really. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all good. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Hope. You know what I'm saying. We. Are... No. no. That, that's a good question, though. Okay, we will, we will, we will definitely come back to that. All right, so real quick, man, talk, talk to us a little bit about your growing up, man. How was it like growing up as a kid, you know, and coming into your own as a man, and then you know finally realizing, you know, what it was in life that you wanted to do? How was that childhood like coming up? I mean, this childhood life, bunch of project, baby, running around, living, living up, ain't got no father figure, mother figure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. You gonna have a you gonna have coming from the grain, you're gonna have a little harsh life. Okay. Okay. If he if he ain't been through nothing in the grain, you ain't from the grain. Most definitely. You're gonna have a little harsh life. Most definitely. It's gonna be something that you go through in this city that gonna they're gonna really affect you. That part, that part. All right, so speaking on that, man, you know, when again going back to the music, man, you know, you have we have a lot of you have, you know, you have a lot of artists that, you know, put out you know, that they, they hear other artists putting all these different things 
songs, but man, but what I want to know from you is, you know, why do, why why do we have so much of, you know, of repeated stuff versus just think, you know, versus just coming up with stuff on your own and, and flowing? Oh no, know. These, these niggas they basic, man. These niggas basic, man. Okay. They 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 copy each other and and expect that shit to be fine. That shit ain't even fine. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you this. So has there been a song of yours that you've put out that still to this day that, you know, people get behind and they rock with and even to and even to your point, um, you know, it, it makes me excited to hear the people being able to, you know, sing your song sing your songs back to you or recite the lyrics or to how does that make you feel as an artist? I mean, it's one feeling, you know, having people Listen to me every day on the daily. This okay. is good. But... Okay, okay. I definitely feel that. All right, so also, real quick, we also have Liquid 3 6 in the building. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? For setting this up also. Shout out Liquid, man. I definitely, so I want to get it. Real, 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 Most definitely. <laughs> Was that our, so I want to get into that, man. So, you know, what was that, you know, what was that interaction and that convo, like, you know, meeting her, you know, and, and, and being able to network with her and, and you be in the position that you're in now? Like, what was that connection like, meeting, meeting Liquid? She on her shit. Yeah, I can say that. She on her shit. Okay, okay. She on her shit. Yeah. She, she know her shit. I ain't gonna lie. Most, most definitely, most definitely, definitely shots out to her. All right, so man, when it comes to the, you know us being in 2021, man, you know what, uh, you know what are your what other goals and talents and aspirations that you have set for yourself for 2021? 2021, I'm trying to get signed. This year. I ain't even a lot. Okay, I'm trying to get signed. I'm doing, I'm doing everything I can to get signed this year and get out of there. Most definitely. Definitely. Okay. So real quick, when it comes to influences in music, you know, you, you have, you know, you have hip hop, you have R&B, you know, you're saying you have pop. Um, has there been any influences that you've, you know, that you've watched or listened to growing up over the years that you really just are inspired or motivated by that drives you to be who you are today? I mean, I, I had, I had a couple. I really, I really just started like listening to all these people in the rock game. I ain't really have no, but if I were to say somebody, I say Polo G. No okay. way he come from, and all the positive impacts he done put on throughout his city and stuff. Yeah, I fuck with about Polo G. Okay, okay, definitely. Shouts out to Polo G. You know what I'm saying? Definitely a dope artist out here putting on. You know what I'm saying? Put doing this thing. I definitely salute, definitely salute to him, man. So real quick, man. Let me get in. Let me ask you this question, man. When it comes to you know, um, the fact of, you know, being the artist that you are, what, you know, you being the person that you are, what makes you stand out? What makes you so different? Like, what makes you so unique? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just feel like I got something to talk about. Okay. Okay. I got, and, I got stuff. I, I, like my vocabulary, I put some words together and it, and it mean a lot. Okay. Okay, I definitely feel that. I definitely feel that. So, you know, with that, you know, with you saying you have a, you know, you feel like you have a story to tell, man. Like, you know, do you feel like that story that you that you're telling, even in your music, do you feel like that story is out, is really reaching the people and really getting the people more involved and in tune with who you are and really being able to really listen to, you know, what I'm saying what you have to say. Yeah, they fought with. I got a lot of people that listen to my songs on daily. Tell me like. Oh wow, I was crying this and I got my feelings all day. Nah, this is they be vibing to it, you feel me? Okay. Okay, I definitely feel that. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? So definitely shouts out to you. All right, so real quick, man, you know, when it comes to the social media world, man, because social media has, you know, has has taken a mind of its own and it's truly, you know, larger than life. You know, being an artist, you know, and being able to know that you're able to post your music pretty much anywhere and everywhere, you know, what is that experience and what is, how does that make you feel knowing that you have people out there that will actually go out there and listen to you and, you know, promote your stuff and share your stuff and things like that? I really don't fuck with social media. Okay. I, I really, I really don't like social media. This is, but somebody that could did this shit mess it, bro. <laughs> okay. I don't okay. like social media. Okay. Well, I mean, honey. Facebook straight, you know, Facebook, Facebook, all right, but Instagram and Snapchat, nah, I don't, 
That shit just messy. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, I, I mean, I had an account, whatever, and have all the view, but I, I really could care less about it. Okay. okay. I definitely feel that. So, we, so earlier, you you know, you spoke on comedy, Matt, and so I see, so I know you definitely must be a big, big in comedy. So, when it comes to, you know, some of the greatest comedians of all time, if you had to, if you had to list your top five favorite comedians of all time, who would, they, who would those comedians be and why? DC on fly. <laughs> oh, I, I could <laughs> That boy DC funny as hell. Uh, that boy DC, DC funny as hell too. Okay. I don't know. I feel like they, them, them boy that came a long way, man. Right, right. Like funny Mike, you watch them. You watch over the years of how far they done came. They done came a long way. That part. That came a real long way. Okay, okay. Well, definitely. That's something just to motivate you. Look, look how every day you, they used to go on and hustle. Right. Something to look at. Right, right. I agree. I definitely agree with that. So who, who is, who's your next three? My next three? Uh, I really don't go back to old school like that. But if I were to say, what, what big burn name that died? You talking about, um, you talking about Bernie Mac? Yeah, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac, he funny oh. here. <laughs> okay. Bernie Mac, yeah. That? That's about it. I mean, Chris Tucker, uh, Kevin Hart. Yeah, Kevin Hart. He should have been number one. <laughs> okay. And them boys are funny, man. They done came a long way, man. You go to look at them boys that are really hustle. Okay. Okay. I definitely feel that. All right. So real quick, once again, switching back into the music uh, for a second, man, when it comes to all these younger up and coming artists that's coming up in the game, trying to, you know, sol submit, th submit themselves out here into the world, man, what advice do you have for them to keep them motivated, to keep them going as an artist yourself? Well, to keep them motivated, I don't give a damn what somebody may say about your music or how they may feel about it. If you like it, Keep doing. The okay. best league gonna get better. Most definitely, most definitely. Cause I, I would ask it once, and now I done got better. The yeah, only thing it take time. It gonna take time. Most definitely. So, so is it safe to say that you, you know, that you're able to take constructive criticism? Huh? I constructive said, criticism. Yeah. Is it is it safe to say that you're able to take that without feeling some type of way? Or make it seem like people are making, or make it, or making it seem like people are dogging your music. I mean, I ain't really got no problem like that. Okay, okay. I mean, I'm blocked, baby. Everybody love me. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. Okay. <laughs> All right, I feel that. Blocked. All right. All right, so let me ask you this then, switching, switching the question back on you. What's been the best piece of advice that you've gotten in your life that you still carry with you to this day? Best piece of advice I carry to myself to this day. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Okay, okay. It's like fucked up individuals to treat somebody like garbage. That person that got treated like garbage be the one that shine by that end. Best believe and shit. Okay, okay. I definitely yeah, feel I like that a lot with most definitely, most definitely. Now, look, real quick. Now, now, you remember I told you I was going to turn the heat up on you real, real quick. So now I'm going to get into a, a completely different topic, you know, speaking on the dating world. Because, you know, the dating world can be crazy, you know. And then, of course, you know, as an artist being in the <laughs> industry, man, I'm sure girls must go crazy. So what I want to know, man, is what, is, what does a girl have to do to catch your attention? Or what does she have to say to catch your attention? A girl ain't got to do nothing to catch my attention. If she can work, take care of herself, and still know how to treat somebody at the end of the day, I fuck with you. Okay. And okay. I don't like no gold diggers either. Okay. Okay. Keep it a honey. <laughs> Make her own, man. <laughs> Wait, <y 'all> know. <laughs> Most definitely, most definitely. All right, so real quick, if you, you know, if you had to take a girl out on a date, man, like, what could she be expected from you, you know, could bingo, what could she be expecting on that date from you? What can she expect? A chance to get with a real nigga. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> I definitely feel that. Okay. Okay. 
so with that being said, my, which brings the heat, which the heat rises again. So what is the best feature to you on a woman's body? The best feature? Mm-hmm. A brain. Okay. Okay. It ain't by how she look. It's by how she think and act. Okay. I definitely feel that. I feel a that. Woman, a woman can offer you sex and all that. It, it's so much more you can learn about a woman than a body. That's true. Okay. I love that hard. I definitely respect that. All right, man. So real quick, when it comes to eras of music, man, we, you know, you think about the the sixties, the seventies, the eighties. Then you had the nineties come around. Then you had, you know, the two thousands. Then you had the two thousand ten. But what I want to know as an artist, man, you know, again, going going back up, going back to your childhood, growing up, you know, what has what was that era of music that really, you know, what I'm saying, had you bopping on every day? Best like, what was, you know, on 2000, your that boy Eminem, Goddamn, Lil Wayne, Drake, and all them future. Okay. okay. That was the style back then. Goddamn Birdman, Young Thug, Rich okay. Homie Coin, all of them. Okay. That was the style back then. Okay. See so how you got it. You got a pile of wood, most, bro. Most definitely. So who would you say right now is on your playlist right now? Like who do you mainly listen to right now? Polo G, Slime Life Shout and Lil Baby. Okay, okay. I feel that. Now, speaking on Lil Baby, he recently dropped a song, um, you know, during this whole pandemic time, of course, as we all know, entitled The Bigger Picture, man. But what I want to know from from your perspective, you know, what did, how did how did you feel hearing the, hearing that song from him and knowing that he could deliver a song like that to speak on what's, you know, going on right now in the world? I hear, hear real nigga. Shout out to Lil Baby for that song. That's a real last uh, song. Okay. Okay. I definitely feel that. I feel that. All right. So real quick, man. So now I want to, again, so now you know, when you think about all of the, 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 the trailblazers that have trailblazed the way in music, you know, you, when you think about the R&B, then you think about hip hop, who would you say right now on the female side and male side has truly been number one in your books? If you had to, if you had to get that opinion. Hey, man. Cardi B on the woman's side. Cardi B a goat. Okay. I has goat. Okay. Got them on the on the man's side. Who really not bull throws through? I little baby, little baby. Now he took he took this shit over. Okay. 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 Bro, bro, take the game over. Most definitely. Most definitely. Okay. So real quick, so. If you had the chance and the opportunity to collaborate with any artist past or present and really, you know what I'm saying, get in the booth with them, who would that person be? Hey, I got to skill that question. <laughs> <laughs> I got to skill that question. Okay, okay. Well, let me ref- I don't know. Hey. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to flip that. So if you had the opportunity to take a song from the past and the present or from any era and turn it into your own, what song would that be? Uh, what song? What song? Oh, uh, I I, I want to take one of my songs, but I need to get it copyrighted. A song okay. called Healing. Okay. Okay. Now speak. Yeah. To, now speak to us real quick. You know, on this song, um, Healing. Like, you know, what 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 you know what were the you know what steps and processes process did you have to go through to create such a an inspiring song to help people you know what I'm saying you know rock with it type shit really really healing healing came like healing came I made that song off of like girl I was, I was young man I didn't know a little what a bit broke my heart and I took it the wrong way I made a song off of this shit I mess around made a song off of it and, and it just pop folk like, damn, this shit really hard. You really talking about so I was like, yeah, like, I'm just in my feelings. I ain't expect this shit to be hard. That song then hit like three thousand some views. Right, right. Okay, yeah. I definitely feel that. So now I want to ask, when it comes to your when your songs, now do you now do you usually put your music on all platforms, or do you start off at one and then work your way through the process? I mean, I really just, I really just started. Like, I, I ain't got no music on, on no platform, self audio, man. I really just started my music career. Okay, okay. 
So let me ask you this. So what, what would it take for, you know, an artist, you know, that would want to link with you, that would want to, you know, get in the, in the booth with you and, and do a track? Like, what what would that take for them to get to link up with you and make that happen? If an artist want to get on track with me, they don't have to give me a feature. Okay. I want I want some money. Most definitely, most definitely. I okay. want I want at least three hundred, five hundred dollars. Hey, hey, hey! I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. Okay, okay. So real quick, yeah, I got I got talent. Dude. I ain't just no hammer down rapper. They coming out of the grain. I got I really got talent. I ain't playing with mine. <laughs> most definitely, most definitely. All right, so if I, do something, if I do something with somebody that want that want me to do something with them, they gonna expect money. I'm gonna expect money too. Most definitely, most definitely. Now speaking on the now speaking on the speaking on the topic of money, man, you know, everybody, you know, of course is chasing the bad, chasing, you know, chasing, you know, trying to chase the money. But what I wanna know from you, man, is that why is it that so, so many people get so artists uh specifically, they get so uh upset with each other and they have beef with each other because they you know because they feel like one is trying to outdo the other why why do we have so much of that going on especially when it comes to money really people trying to be better than each other instead of coming together and, and helping the environment they would rather go spend their money on jewelry and shit see when i get my first deal i ain't i ain't doing all that ridiculous spending shit i'm, I'm gonna go buy my sister my mom and them a spot big ass house and I'm going to go buy my own spot, and my bro going to live there with me. Most definitely. Okay, I definitely and, and I'm going to have somebody old enough to pay the bills, you feel me? I ain't all that buying chains and expensive watches and stuff. I ain't doing that. My money going to charity and shit. Okay, I definitely I'm trying to give back. I ain't trying to hog it all. I'm trying to give back. Most definitely. Because I know there's people out there that, that was in a worse position than I was. And all they need is a little money, and they can help them out. That it part. could be, it could be somebody broke as hell, but they smart, smarter than Einstein, and they ain't got a cent to help them get nowhere. I'd right. rather get in them than they go out here and go spend on some chain. Right. Okay. I definitely agree with you on that, and I definitely respect that. All right. So let me ask you this: So you know, you know, what, you know, you're in a position now where you know you're elevating on an everyday basis, man. But you know, once you get to the point where you really want to be, man, are you going to be like one of those artists that you know? You are the, the you're the friendly type in the sense of you know people are can you know you're open to people or are you more standoff or are you more reserved to yourself? I'm more I'm more state of myself type of guy. I, I really don't care for the outward. I like it. You see, I'm in the house now too. Right. Playing the game. I ain't I ain't I ain't on that crazy. Just okay. trying to stay to myself, make music. Okay, okay. So as you good as you prepare to wrap this thing on up, man, what can you know, other than, you know, what you've given us, man, what else can we be on the lookout for, you know what I'm saying, coming from you music wise and any other ventures that you got going on? I got I got a single step by step coming and hopefully I'm gonna have an album soon, real soon. And the name of my album gonna be F T B C Block. Okay, okay. We definitely gonna make sure we definitely gonna make sure we check that out. And I'm gonna definitely be checking it out. Um and I definitely sure. wanna do a pizza with me, anything. Liquid three six. It up liquid three six. Most definitely. Shouts out to Liquid, you know what I'm saying? Well brother, we definitely have we definitely have enjoyed this opportunity with you, man. Being able to chop it up with you. I'm definitely glad I had a chance to you know, to meet you and you know Oh yeah, oh oh. And I got some T shirts coming too. They say on the front it say Hood Ray. And they got a bag of money on the back. It say FTB feed the block. Okay, okay. Well, we definitely gonna make sure we cop. I'm gonna make sure I cop as well. You know, because so, I'm all about you know supporting my and, my. And, and and if I gotta send it through UPS, send me the the address and shit. I send, I have it sent to you. Most definitely, I definitely promote that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, real quick. Before time we, stop. Most definitely. Well, real quick. Before what you finna say? No, I was saying before we wrap it up, where can the people follow you at and tap in with you at? Uh, tap in with me on, on all social media. My name Hood Bingo on Instagram Hood dot Bingo, Snapchat Hood Bingo, uh, Messenger Hood Bingo, Facebook Hood Bingo, okay. Hood Bingo all over. Hood Bingo all over. Audio Mac want to listen to my music? Extra Way Mumble X T R A W A Y space M A M B A. 
Okay. Okay. Well, you guys, I hope you guys have caught all of that. I hope you guys have, you know what I'm saying, got that locked in. Make sure y'all tap in with this brother because he's definitely doing his thing. Hood Binger, we salute you, brother. Keep grinding. Keep putting that pressure on, man. And I definitely can't wait to bring you back for another edition. You know what I mean? All right. Shout out to my boy, Jay. Most definitely. Shout, salute, brother. All right. All right.